Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This morning, I have addressed the Secretary General of the United Nations with the instrument of the Syrian Arab Republic accession to the Convention on the Prohibition of the Development, Production, Stockpiling, and Use of Chemical Weapons and on their destruction of 1993. President Bashar al-Assad, President of the Syrian Arab Republic, had signed the legis legislative decree number 61 dated September 12, 2013, in which declared the Syrian Arab Republic approval to accede to the Convention on the prohibition of the development, production, stockpiling, and use of chemical weapons and on their destruction of 1993, which entered into force, as you know, on the 29th of April, 1997. We addressed the Secretary General with this letter in his capacity as the depository of the Convention in accordance with Article 23 of the Convention and we asked him, we requested him kindly to deposit the instrument of accession and to circulate it with the due notification of the Member States. I am expecting the Secretary General to issue a statement in any moment today. Parallelly, the Minister, the Syrian Minister for Foreign Affairs, sent another letter to the Director General of the OPCWC notifying him of the Syrian government decision to accede to the Convention. With this, the chapter of the so-called chemical weapons should be ended and legally speaking Syria has become, starting today, a full member of the Convention. I'm in your hands. وجهت رسالة صباح هذا اليوم إلى السيد الأمين العام للأمم المتحدة بان كيمون أبلغته فيها بصدور المرسوم التشريعي رقم 61 الذي وقعه رئيس الجمهورية والذي يقضي بالانضمام انضمام الجمهورية العربية السورية إلى معاهدة حظر استخدام وتخزين الأسلحة الكيماوية وزير الخارجية السوري وجه بدوره رسالة إلى المدير العام لمنظمة حظر الأسلحة الكيماوية يخطره فيها بقرار الحكومة السورية الانضمام إلى هذه المعاهدة وفقا لحيثيات الاتفاقية الدول التي ترغب بالانضمام عليها أن تخطر الأمين العام بصفته الوديع للاتفاقية والأمين العام عليه أن يخطر جميع الدول الأعضاء فورا I think this is uh, an anticipation on the uh, process that everybody should go with uh, in the forthcoming days. We didn't put any precondition. As far as we are concerned, we didn't put any precondition. We invited uh, the 
it, it's not only us. It's in accordance with the provision of the convention itself. When a member state asks or requests to join the, the convention, uh, there is there, there is a special uh, uh, proceedings for that, and it should these proceedings should be respected by by everybody, including the uh, state the state the state that wishes to join or to accede to the convention. Formalities should be observed by by all the parties. Could you repeat your question, please? Syria never said that it didn't have chemical weapons. We always said, while talking about the chemical weapons, if they exist, you may remember this. The chemical weapons in Syria are a mere deterrence against the Israeli nuclear arsenal. It's a deterrence. It's a deterrent weapon. And uh, 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 now the, the time has come for the Syrian government to join the OPCWC as a gesture to show our willingness uh, to be against all weapons of mass destruction and to prove that we were sincere in, in 2003 when we presented our initiative to, to the Security Council members December 29th or 27th, 2003, uh, on the uh, establishment in the Middle East of a zone free from all weapons of mass destruction. And the foremost and forefront of it, the Israeli nuclear armaments uh, 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 should be dismantled and, uh, and so that the area would be free from all weapons of mass destruction. So we joined the deeds to the words today. I would, like, I would like to urge all of you, you, professional reporters and journalists, to be on the positive side in interpreting what's going on. The media might be a weapon of mass destruction too. So please, let us be responsible. Let us act with this very important uh, decision by the Syrian government, positively speaking. We don't need any anticipation. We don't need if we need just to judge things as they are, as, as they are produced by the Syrian government as well as by the Russians and the Americans and the Secretary General. This is what هو السؤال اللي نعم 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 قبل تقرير سالستروم او بعد تقرير سالستروم لا لاننا زودنا الدكتور سالستروم بهذه العينات نعم نحن مستعدون لاستقبال خبراء من منظمة حظر الأسلحة الكيماوية لمساعدتنا على تنفيذ المبادرة الروسية نعم والبرلمان هناك مهلة بحسب الاتفاقية تتيح أمام الحكومات التحضير لمثل هذا الأمر داخل برلماناتها لكن هذا الأمر إجرائي نحن رسميا أصبحنا عضو في منظمة حظر الأسلحة الكيماوية اعتبارا من اليوم ليس لأنني أقول ذلك وإنما بموجب حيثيات الاتفاقية We said it in 2003, we said it in, in 1986. The first time we raised this very important issue was in 1986, when we joined, we, when we joined at that time uh, uh, a collective 
um, initiative aiming at establishing in the Middle East a zone free from nuclear weapons. Then in 2003, we, the Syrians, when we were members of the Security Council, we submitted a full initiative based on submitting a draft resolution, which is still in blue in the drawers of the Security Council, on the establishment of a zone free from all weapons of mass destruction, including the chemicals. So the story is old. It's not a new one. Yes, please. We would like to see the uh, other parties, including the media, to engage positively in helping the Syrian authorities, as well as the OPCWC Secretariat, as well as the Secretary General, as well as the Russians and the Americans, to engage all of us in this very constructive process of implementing the Russian initiative, which was approved by the Americans and accepted by the Syrian government. Well, I'm the French Foreign Minister, uh, uh, Fabius, he is the one who said that the report will come out Monday and that he believes it will point the finger at the Assad government. So I wanted you to know, uh, Ambassador Aro said that he, he were, they were informed of the report by the Secretary General last night. What's your understanding of the communications between the Secretary General and either the P5, and do you, do you view the Secretary General as, as even-handed in this matter? I think the Minister Fabius is, is trying to empty the, the, Syri the Russian initiative uh, and the Syrian uh, uh, positive response to it from, uh, from, the, from the, its uh, positive content. So here too we are facing uh, the minister of one of the P5 anticipating on the final findings of the report. While we, the Syrian government, we have asked and repeatedly asked uh, that the report of the Commission of investigation, of investigation should be a comprehensive one and we were in favor of those who asked to ask the Secretary General to expedite the issuance of this uh, report. So we have nothing to hide. Uh, of, on the contrary, we are waiting, expecting, uh, uh, calling on the uh, team of investigators to come up uh, with their full report covering all the incidents uh, which were mandated to the, to the team of investigation uh, uh, with, the final, with the final outcome. We, we too, we are expecting the, the report to come up, uh, I mean the Dr. Selstrom and his team to come up with, uh, to come out with their full report as soon as possible. But we don't, we don't want to see any hastily move, any partial report, any politicized report, any manipulated report. All what we are asking for is to see the team fulfilling fully its mandate by producing a full comprehensive and entire, entire uh, report to the Secretary General as well as to the members of the Security Council. Ambassador, what's the next stage as far as the next stage of the نحن تحدثنا عن الجوهر الجوهر السياسي هو أننا اخترنا الأمين العام والمدير العام لمنظمة حظر استخدام الأسلحة الكيماوية بقرارنا بالانضمام هكذا تنص الاتفاقية ما عدا ذلك هو إجراءات شكلية سيصار إلى التعامل معها وفقا للقانون السوري هذا سؤال استباقي يتعلق بالآليات التي سيتم الاتفاق عليها بين الحكومات المعنية ومن بينها الحكومة السورية
all that will be all that will be examined, discussed uh, thoroughly uh, through the mechanisms uh, of the uh, OPCWC. Don't turn around. Don't please don't turn around what I said. I have answers to all your questions. You are getting back to the same question you raised a few minutes ago. This is not the case. No, this is not the case. You, you have misunderstood uh, the Syrian uh, government's decision. Please explain it. Then. I will explain it to I you. Right. I know you, and you will not understand even after I finish my answer. <laughs> you will still have questions to, to, to ask. Please, please try me. Please try me. I'm, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Hold on. Please hold on. Hold your horses, please. I said that the chemical weapons whether they are in Syria or elsewhere. By the way, Israel has chemical weapons, but nobody speak, is speaking about it. And I would like, by the way, thank you for asking this question. I know that will not please you. It's a document issued by the CIA on Israel having chemical weapons. I will give you a copy of it. Make a copy of it, please. Three copies? Five? Ten? Twenty. <laughs> so here, gentlemen, we are talking about the safety and the security of all the peoples in the Middle East. We care a lot about the safety and security of everybody in the area. And this is why we have repeatedly insisted and produced initiatives aiming at freeing the Middle East from all weapons of mass destruction, including the chemicals. But of course, the main dangerous weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East is the Israeli nuclear arsenal. And this has become public and very well understood by the international public opinion. So the Syrian initiative now calls on the P5, on the Secretary General, on the OPCWC to shoulder their responsibilities. First, to convince Israel to join the NPT, which is the equivalent of the CWC, to put its nuclear arsenal under the supervision of the IAEA, like everybody else, without any discrimination. Otherwise, the IAA might be accused of anti-Semitism later on. Third, to help uh, uh, Syria and, and other nations also to be uh, uh, part of this very important international convention on uh, the prohibition of the chemical weapons. As far as we are concerned, we set an example to the Israelis as well as to others in order to engage positively in a responsible process aiming at stabilizing the, uh, the Middle East, the area of the Middle East, going to Geneva too, as far as the Syrian truck is concerned, putting an end to the Arab-Israeli conflict based on the implementation of the Security Council resolutions and Madrid Conference reference and the Arab Initiative, Arab Peace Initiative. So here we are not escalating, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are keeping people responsible of their reaction. And this is why I insisted a few minutes ago on calling on the media to engage positively with that. I hope I answered your question. We already did it. We already did it, sir. No, 
both both let me let me clarify one one important point for all of you all the victims that fall in Syria are Syrians whether they are on the uh, government side or on the side of the rebels the armed groups so here the Syrian government is keen interest in saving rescuing the lives of its own citizens all the citizens all including those who were manipulated and misled by foreign powers but our main uh, problem is still the presence of the foreign fighters the terrorists they call themselves jihadists coming from all over the world 83 nations so far they cross borders they take planes they land in airports escorted by intelligence services helped financed armed with foreign governments all this is about inciting incitement to terrorism sponsoring of terrorism and those who are who are, who, who are committing this crime should be held accountable in accordance with 1267 1373 and 1624 uh, all of them are Security Council resolutions as you know dealing all of them adopted under chapter 7 and dealing with combating terrorism yes with Yes, yes, we did it. We have asked for the last two years and a half all the subsidiary bodies of the Security Council dealing with combating terrorism of doing so. And we have forwarded to all of them letters with names, nationalities, identities, date of birth, even the mother of name, even the name of their mothers. Yes, 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 and they visited only one location of the three locations. Mr. Ambassador, uh, you've made a great point that saying you will not accept any reports from sources which are, as you said, politicized or manipulated. Are there any particular reports that you see in prospects or possibly coming out that you feel would be so politicized or manipulated? I, I was referring to what Minister Fabius uh, said today. Thank you. It seems like this report that's going to come out that they say is coming out Monday only focuses on the August 24th. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. This is why the Syrian government uh, insisted and is still insisting on producing by Dr. Selstrom a full report, a comprehensive report dealing with all the incidents of the use of chemical uh, substances, chemical uh, materials, chemical weapons whatsoever uh, in Khan al-Asal as well as in the other locations which fall within the mandate of Dr. Selstrom and his team. So we are, we are calling on, on the Secretary General and Dr. Selstrom to deal ex uh, with, with all the incidents related to the use of chemical substances uh, uh, in Syria. And you may, you may remember and you may recall, and here I am just refreshing your, your own memory, that from the day one we asked the Secretary General, A, to investigate whether the chemical weapons and or chemical substances were used or not in Khan al-Asal, B, to identify who did it. From the day one, USA, Britain and Fra France delegations objected to B, they only accepted A. And now with the A, somebody is trying to manipulate half of the A or three quarters of the A. Thank you so much.